Sinking data for what? I haven't played the game yet. You think it's depictions of violence, body horror, and psychological issues including anxiety, OCD, and depression. I didn't hit anything, it kinda just auto went that way. Hey everybody! Welcome to Homebody, a retro slash nostalgic survival horror puzzler brought to you by Game Grumps, and more importantly, the goodest boy in the world, Jory Griffiths. This is uh, quite a shock to be playing on the Xbox because they announced it and I went, oh, it's just on Steam, okay. Much like Dream Daddy and, uh, well, that's the only other game they made so far, at least. But I was like, oh, it looks cool. Too bad it's only on Steam, can't play it, you know, I don't, even if my PC, my potato could run it, you're kind of going to have trouble recording it. And then all of a sudden, Jory just tweeted out, uh, this came as a shocker, everything's moving fast, uh, it's on everything. So, that's amazing. That's cool, I'm excited for this. Uh, menu language graphics, gamma, I love that it's a dog. Oh, 10 out of 10 already. 10 out of 10, yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Uh, back audio. We'll keep it 100, I'll just edit it in post if it's too loud. New game, English. Yes. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited. A horror game in summer by the way, is very rare, I feel like. Most times I'm used to like, oh, it's in like, March, and it's like a Resident Evil or something like that. I don't know, I don't remember like horror games releasing like June. Tilt the left stick in a direction to move, press X to run. Should I be run, whoa, oh. Memory log. Gary text. Call back if you see this. We're going to the Kruger, Kroger down the road. Sorry if we miss you. The gate combination is the third number down on the post-it. See you soon. Z zoom. No zoom. Uh. Uh. F uh 420. Okay. I'm assuming this is just going to be... Whoa. What the hell? I'm going to assume this is just going to be like a... Twenty-six unread messages. Six o'clock. I don't know which is more <laughs> alarming that it's twenty-six missed messages or it's six o'clock and you decide to pull over the road for a quick nappy nap. Hey Emily, you're not giving up already, are you? Yes, I mean no, I'm on my way there. Kinda. Are you panicking? Do you need to pull over? Oh, I didn't, I, up front, right now, didn't know what this game was gonna be. They were just like, it's a survival horror puzzle game. I was like, sure, I'm in. Uh, already did, I'm at the side of the road. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with our friends, I'm assuming friends. Already did what? Panicked or pulled over? Pulled over. I, I've got 26 unread messages from my friends and I know it's gonna be bad news. I've been sitting at the side of the road for 20 minutes, just trying to stay calm. And... but I don't think I can handle it. I, I'm thinking about turning around. And you were hoping I'd give you permission? I would like permission to turn around, yes. Look, you're not going to a funeral. You're going to a cool old house to hang out with your friends and watch a meteor shower. You do this every year and you always seem to have a good time. First things first, hands on the wheel, key in the ignition, start driving. A lot more to, to driving than that, but I get where you're going. Okay. I don't know. I'm assuming that was a supportive friend. I'll take it as supportive because they're like, hey, you do it all the time. You do it every year and you have a good time. You're just worried. There you go. We're going to an old house. Let's watch a meteor shower. What could go wrong? I say as I know something's absolutely gonna go wrong, cause that's uh, what the hell's with the Okay. Emily, if you feel like you haven't left the apartment, it feels like you haven't left the apartment weeks. Being in the middle of nowhere, watching a meteor shower doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not that, it's like, 
They're sending me like pages and pages of instructions on how to get into this weird old house they rented. Like, there's a keypad on the gate, and Gary sent me the code, but I, I just know I'm gonna get locked out somehow, and I'm gonna run out of gas trying to get back. The cops are gonna find me a week from now, a skeletal husk behind the wheel of a car, clutching my phone. You're spinning yourself in circles, M. You're fine. You're safe. They miss you. Um... Then I'm gonna pull back the curtain. I, I, I'm starting to relate super hard early on. Um, especially this, this last one. That that's just more of an opportunity to let them down. I, I relate to that. I relate to everything she just said. Honestly, just like normal anxiety. I'm already like four hours late. It's gonna be another hour before I get there. I don't think another hour is gonna make things that much worse. Would it hurt just to be honest with him about it? I'm gonna guess Laura is my my therapist. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that. I'm gonna make a guess. I don't know. I guess I don't know how to say. I wasted a bunch of time stalling because I didn't want to come and not make it weird. Things are already weird enough. I haven't spoken to any of them in almost a year. You really think they they won't forgive you for that? I think it doesn't matter what I think. I think I'm panicking. Emily. Ellipsis. What are you so afraid of? It's a swanky ass place. Alright, to the keypad! You can recall important facts from your memory log. Press the menu button to open the memory log. So we, we got this one, we, yeah, combination of the third number on the post-it, see you soon. And I'm pretty sure this is just straight up the code, right? The keypad, okay, third number down, 812, oh god, 8, 1, 2, 9. My memory card, my memory thing updated. And it's auto saving. I was expecting a mansion. I don't know why. Like, a gated fence that you need a key code for. It feels like it would have been like a glacial estate. That's not ominous. Smoking's bad for you. Oh, hey Cliff. That's how you start fires. There she is, the star of the show. You're finally here. Yeah, long drive, huh? It wasn't that bad. I think all in all, it was like three and a half hours. It felt like more like six from here. We were getting worried about you. Uh. Ooh, which is a good one. I got delayed by a work thing, my mom held me up, or ran into car trouble. What's more believable? Car trouble. Car trouble is always an easy one. I almost ran out of gas on my way over. I had to get out of the, uh, go way out of the way to find a gas station. Uh, don't be too embarrassed, Dan. I forgot to turn on the headlights on the way, uh, on the way out last night. My brain was just like, can I usually just be see better than this? He actually said that out loud. And hey, I take it you got my text message. Yep, all of them. Cool. We were worried you wouldn't be able to get inside. Did Pete have any trouble getting here? Actually, Pete isn't here yet. He's about 33 hours late. Yeah, he was supposed to be here last night. Worst of all, the owner of this house didn't want to let us in before everyone named on the rental was here. Yeah, like a server at Olive Garden, not wanting to seat us until our whole party has arrived. Does Olive Garden do that? That's weird. It took some convincing for him to let us stay. Is that Mr. Nest gave us an hour of instruction on how to work, not wreck the place? Is that why he gave- okay. I think he could have done that either way. He didn't strike me as the kind of guy who gets a lot of company. Not to be mean. Is that too mean? You're fine. Anyway, come on in, Emily. Make yourself comfortable. 
For real, we've got some catching up to do. How long has it been since I last saw you? A year? Yeah, don't keep us waiting any longer. Ellipsis. Hey, why don't I take your bag for you? Um, okay. Hey, everybody's really happy to have you here. I am too. Is there a reason you wouldn't be? Like, what happened with Cliff, by the way? He was kind of really, um, standoffish, I guess we'll say. He lit his cigarette, then flicked it away. Bruh, those are expensive. Also, you could have burnt down the entire house, depending on where you flicked your cig. What the hell is on the door? Examine that lock, bruv. Oh, I can actually examine it. The lock mechanism doesn't have power. A yellow cable leads from the lock mechanism into another room. Cool. Uh, my suitcase. Uh, our thingy. Uh, the text was 4 420, bruh. What's it? Bazinga. Inspect. This is what I packed? I know I was in a hurry, but this is two pairs of pants and no underwear. What the hell? This is so embarrassing. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just leave my suitcase open there. It's fine. You can interact, uh, interact reveal button. Use the interact reveal button to show interactive objects in the environment. Hold the left bumper to highlight everything nearby that can be interacted with. Whoa, the door, the clock, which sounds like fucking Vecna's coming. And the light switch. Clock. Longo. Gotcha. Light switch. I have a L-shaped flashlight on my chest. It's always good to be prepared, man. Ah! Gary! Thanks for the... T t Gary? Gare Bear. Alright, Gare Bear. I'll see you later. The front door doesn't open. The deadbolt holds the door in place in its upper left corner. Yeah, uh... That is electrically tied to a junction box. The power box. There's a strange power box mounted to the wall. Looks like it provide power to one of two cables that leads the box. Leave the box on the left and the right sides. But the box itself needs to be powered on first. There's a yellow and black striped cable coming from the bottom of the box to the floor. The yellow cable leads from the left side of the box into the foyer. A teal cable leaves from the right side and up to, into the ceiling. Okay, so I'm assuming basement powers it, powers the front door, and then powers something upstairs? This is, this is some shoddy, uh... Examine it in a glass darkly. In a glass darkly by J. Sheridan Le Fanu in three volumes. Volume one, London! Neat, okay. Uh, light switch. I don't want to turn the lights out. Be rude. Talk to Megan. Hey, Megan. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, Emily, but I'm so glad you're here. Uh, why would... Why would that make you uncomfortable? Or make me uncomfortable? Just like, I know how stressful it is to feel seen like that. That's sweet. It's a good scene. Francine was actually pretty worried you weren't going to come. She said it had been really busy at work lately. I guess I was also worried I wasn't going to come, haha. <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, you know, deadlines. For work. That I'm doing. Ellipses. Well, I hope you're not pushing yourself too hard. You and Francine must hang out all the time since she moved out there, huh? Ah, yeah, for sure. Ellipses. Speaking of which, sorry again that I'm so late. I haven't been in town for a while, so my mom is already being needy. Jeez, yeah, I hope she's holding up okay, but I mostly hope you're holding up okay. And anyway, we're still waiting on Pete. Um... 
There's a lock on the front door. Do you know why? What? Didn't you try unlocking it? It's not on the door itself. It's a separate machine. Oh, shit. So we're trapped inside until we figure the lock out. Okay, no reason to panic. Uh, I'm gonna go say hi to the other kids. Wait, by the way, have you heard the house rules yet? <laughs> nope, just got here. Funny, it feels like you've been here longer than that. The owner of the house left us a big binder of rules that we have to follow. They're pretty basic aside from some weirdly specific rules about silverware? The only part that really matters is that we're supposed to stay out of the cellar and the attic. Uh, I'm not here to rock any boats, man. Same. There's a bed made up for you in the little bedroom by the study. Take your time unpacking, though. We're not going to be up to anything for a while, so you get settled in. What you doing? Examine the console. Whoa, retro. Amazing how these things feel so brittle, but somehow they last forever. Herd mystery. Fuck yeah. Um... I can- Oh yeah, he said something about this. Grub soft. I'ma do it. I'ma get high score, man. Don't bird- Purd? Bird purd? Pert? Pert? I'ma do it. A high score. Don't pert on me. It's crazy how... Don't you pert on me. Ah, you perted. Well... Like, there's an actual, like, input delay. Because that's how old games were. There's, like, not... It, no, nothing was... Crisp. There was input delay on on what button you pressed and how long it took, and they replicated it pretty. Pr I get fucked, bird. I what? Oh, there's I'm. There's a time. It's eight forty p.m. Oh yeah, this does have like something to do with with um. Like, time travel or something like that? Again, I didn't see really much anything, because again, up until very recently, I didn't expect to be playing this. So, I really didn't see much info on it. Kind of a, don't, kind of a outside looking in type of thing. Okay. You, Gary. Hey, Gary. Emily, I'm so happy you're here. Gary, I'm so happy you're here. How you feeling? I'm fine. Fine isn't a feeling, but I'll take it. You, Gary, you. How was the convention? Uh, I spent two days in a hotel room with eight other people. That's typically conventions. It was like Tanacon. I slept on a pile of towels under an ironing board. Y yikes! S still, I'm glad you're here. Are you excited to get out there and see the per per sides? I guess so. Oh man, I am so amped! I'm all shaky. I feel like I drank a ton of coffee. I'm boogsing out, man. But I had to stop doing that years ago. <laughs> that was oddly specific. Wow, you're pretty into space stuff now, huh? Oh, Emily, I don't know if this door, if this is the door you want to open. I spent a lot of time on astronomy Wikipedia lately. It's a pestilence. That is a f what? Um, uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> All right. So to start out, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a parasite? Well, what we call the Perseids are actually bits of junk that fall off a much bigger comet, the Swift Tuttle. So I like totals. Uh, it was this whole cloud of bits that follows it around the, its orbit, and those bits get burned up in the atmosphere. Hence, the streaks of light. 
In fact, some of those little bits have been part of the cloud for thousand years. Neat! Isn't it? To think about how it went so far away just to come right back to us again. Uh, I'm gonna go say hi to the other kids. Uh, later. <laughs> Don't fact check me. You won't like my Wikipedia articles. That was an aggressive door open. Is this, is this the rule binder? This binder is full of pages and pages of notes on how to care for the house and its contents. The other kids, uh, the others weren't really kidding. It's kind of obsessive. I'll flip through it in a bit. It's open to a page of the house electric, electronic locks. Apparently they can only be toggled if they have power from the conduit in the living room. There aren't really instructions on how to do that. I'm assuming, why are there sticky notes everywhere? Hey, bud. Nice asparagus. Cliff. Hey, Cliff. Oh, hey. Who are you again? Dick! You're the killer. Inspect Parm. I wa- alright, I'm just gonna kill- watch out, Cliff. Hey, Clint Parm in progress. Listen, I just looked at the Parm. Inspect- no, inspect pamphlet. What's cooking? Fire safety. What's cooking? Fire safety in the kitchen. Remember, food isn't the only thing that can burn. Always be careful when cooking. First degree burns, the burn may appear swollen and red. First degree burn only affects the skin's first layer. I- Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have read the entire first- oh my god. You're telling me I can actually go back to that book that was in the beginning area? And read all 400 pages? Jesus. Second degree burns. Blisters, blotchiness, severe swelling, both in the outer and lower layers of the skin are affected. Third degree burns may appear white, black, charred, waxy, or leathery. The skin has been destroyed down to fatty tissue. Seek medical attention immediately. Did you know scalds from boiling water and steam cause thousands of hospital admissions a year? Don't let your guard down. Are you safe in the kitchen? T take this test and find out. One, can you safely put on a stovetop fire with a cup of water? True or false? I. Those powers out. Oh no. Hide? Hide is an option. Uh oh. I didn't. Uh oh. I have not practiced proper fire safety. Can I get some za? No, can't get some za. Cliff, get the hell out of my way. Look at the window. It's pretty. Okay. I was kind of expecting like a jump scare. I don't know why. I think, uh, flip the switch. Damn it, the power's out. Cliff, I blame you and your chicken parm. This is a hallway. Read the guest book. Oh my god, seven pages. Jesus Christ. Woof. You guys really went all out. That's me. <laughs> How did I get here? I have a run button. I forgot. Uh, there's no way in hell we have the keypad code. No. Uh, 420. That's, I'm out of options. Uh, we did a doodly. Yeah, front door lock. I'm assuming that keypad opens this door, right? Nope, never mind. Junction box. Read the news articles. The Chimpton Tippa, October 8th, 1978. Review Carpenter's Del Deli at the end of the uh, end of its struggle. Picture Carpenter's Deli at its heyday. Its wait staff surrounding the corner uh, corner booth of mainstay customer, self described local guru, Parker Nest. Some commenters noted the correlation between Nest disappearing from his daily lunches and the uh, eventuality of Carpenter's downfall. So he was a regular and then just kind of stopped. Garage door. I press the button. It does nothing. The light is on, so it seems it's getting power. It must be broken. Guess the front door is the only way out. You, this man has built a saw trap. 19. Oh, fuck. You want me to remember dates? Uh oh. It's a puzzle game. Oh, shit. 1978. No, I don't need to read. I don't need to review it. I just need the numbers. Mason. 78. 
Bazinga. No Bazinga. I see. Uh, interact. Reminder, the fluid in this tank is the source for all pumps in the house. Note, when improperly calibrated, pumps positioned above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For pumps positioned below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. I'm not gonna touch that button. That seems like an important button. I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, this is, we're back here. We haven't explored upstairs. Uh... That's an ominous, ominous red glow for a basement. And creaky stairs to boot? Damn, dude. Flip the switch, it does nothing. Check the locker. I'm sorry, should I be shitting my pants right now? Come get this, demon. Uh... 20... 2x4 oak untreated, 1... 24x80 door, single panel, oak finish. Very particular on his finish. Cheating, 6, 36x36 stainless steel, 4, 36x36 tungsten. Internal lining assists with self-organization. 2, 3.5 inch door hinge brass. One doorknob, deadbolt, preferable. There's another page. Weather stripping, minimum 25 feet, soundproofing? Aluminum window framing, dual layer window panel, uh, copper wiring, minimum 100 feet, unshielded. Kitchen chair should suffice. Uh, Clara, please arrange delivery directly to the house. Thank you. What are you trying to cage in? Because I hear that. I know puzzles. When I see them, this, this is a puzzle. I'm so confused. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm not ready to solve this yet. Th thanks, my internal monologue. Thanks, I would like to leave. Thank you, internal monologue, for speaking out into the game. A uh, heavy orange cable leads from the ceiling and disappears through a, a hole in the wall. Yeah, sus. Oh, that, speaking of sus. Uh, he was building, like, a bunker. No, I hear you. Did that keypad? Bart. Check the machine. I understand. Who's laughing at me? Why does it sound like a boo is laughing at me? Heavy blue cable leads from the ceiling through the wall. Mm hmm? Same story. Who are you? Check the iron door. What am I looking at? Oh. Well, alright. Read the plaque. Of hollowed tubes and animal spirits. Clara Jones, hydraulic cylinders, oil, human blood. 1979. The body is a machine, the body is a house. Same blood, the same thoughts, recycled, gushing, cellar to attic, atrium to ventricle. There is beauty to the well-oiled symphony of it. The furnace of the heart, the electric grid of the nerve endings, lungs stuffed with asbestos, the o- mm, what? Hold on, that last one. Lungs stuffed with asbestos is not a good thing. Uh, 1979? Maybe thought different. The organ swelling pr proudly against the floorboards, the cross space is littered with the corpses of animals and the bodies of men. The lights are on, there's nobody home. But a body gets sick, wood rots, machines rust, houses melt into something worse. Nature abhors a vacuum and will punish you for creating one. You will suffer the relentless functions of your own decay. A body made to live, a machine built to die. Fucking Metallica plays in the goddamn background because that was metal as fuck. Uh, alright. You got a bunch of puzzles down here. Check, no, check the post it. A sticky note with the power uh, on the power box is drawing a little sea urchin. Maybe one of those old nautical mines? Something. 
Check this ding dangy later. Did I do it? Captain, am I doing it? Captain, my captain. I'm just fucking with this man's house at this point. This oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Alright. Slight heart attack, it's fine. Come get this shit. I'm about to fucking loop you. Let's go. I love my Velma run, by the way. I knew, I knew, I knew Cliff would come kill me eventually. Oh no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's Cliff! He's dead! There's a knife wound in his neck! This can't be happening. It's Megan. She's dead. This is a lot of blood. The body holds a lot of it. Hide. Oh, I don't like the first person view. I don't like the first person view. Is that him? Be ye angels? Uh... I don't know if he can find me. All right, where is he? You bitch! Grab a knife, get, uh, fucking, uh, grab the palm. Get the palm and get out. He's, the old, old man Jenkins, he's here. Oh shit. Oh, oh, f oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Loop him around the house, loop him around the house. Loop him around, oh my, oh my god. Tank controls. Loop him around the house, I didn't explore upstairs. Uh, examine the bookshelf. Oh, one of the books is missing from the otherwise full bookshelf. Okay. Oh, fuck! It's Francine! She's dead! She's been stabbed! Check them drawers. One. The drawer contains receipts for a construction project. A lot of metal and rebar. Full of bee- full of bees?! Dead bees individually encased a little tiny- what the fuck? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, is this my room? This is a pretty, is a pretty nice room you got here. All right. Uh. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. There's a lot. I feel like I should be taking, like, in real life notes. Hello! Examine, okay. I, lock, yeah, doesn't have power. We gotta get out of here. What is this thing shows up again? The front door might be the only way here. Out of here. I'll have to figure out this lock, yes. Um. It's all in the basement. We have to figure out what's up with the basement. So we, I, we need research. Open door. I did it behind my back, too. That's a skill. Uh, yeah, the bookshelf is missing one book. Uh, examine Frankenstein. Yes. I can, can I read all 816 fucking pages? You madmen. Bruh. That's insane. The Chimpton Tipper, August 20th, 1974! Oh, the fourth, um... The code might be like... Month, day to year? But then that's impossible to have four of those? Cause it'd be, what, August... Eight, it's eight... 
8 20 74 makes no sense it's happening last Thursday Tuesday I can't read the group the group of young men and women run a gamut of creative and professional aspirations a writer here a hyper realist pot painter there an industrial engineer turned performance artist beside the latter would be Clara Jones, whose reputation rapidly rose throughout the past years, a holder of the revolutionist happenings of the highest order, her work dazzling and frustrating poets and academics alike. Just last week, the group of which Jones belongs gathered in a dis disused steel plant beneath a meteor shower to take in her latest work, orchestrated with her creative partner, Parker Nest. Um, uh, manuscript page. Come hella high waters, part one, festivities. Someone in the corner was playing a saw with a bow, poorly, and the theremin warble of it screeched through the house till the man caught the bow on the ragged teeth. It snapped with a twang, striking him in the face. A woman in the shawl and shawl poured vodka onto a lightly bleeding cut on his eyebrow. Suddenly there was a joint in my hand as well as a fresh grasshopper. Who gave them to me? Perhaps they simply manifested there. I may have been soused three drinks ago, but I was in the throes of personal heartbreak, and I'd be damned if it wasn't going to have a good time in spite of it. The party gathered a celebration of the full moon and had quickly devolved into a celebration of pure debauchery. I observed a jolly nude man streaking across the yard, a comet of pale flesh. We were artists, after all, left to our own devices and a voluminous quantity of liquor and acid. What else would you expect? I let a small gaggle of quite butchered nudinous young ladies into the attic to show them the accumulator. They oohed and awed and huddled inside the chamber, impressed with the finely crafted eat. Dracula! Move! If I can read all of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Jory, you f mad lad. Uh, this one was receipts. The bees! Uh, the drawer's empty. The drawer's full of Christmas ornaments. The drawer's full of small plastic baby figurines. Jesus! He might be among them. The drawer's full of rocks. The drawer's full of tiny, unmarked vials. The drawer's full of rulers of various shapes and sizes. Drawers full of rubber bands. Drawers full of dirt. I'm sorry, what was that last part? No, no. Some mysterious mysteries are left unsolved. The uh, various die. Six sided, 12 sided, 20 sided. He likes D&D. &D. What do you want from him? Inside the drawer 12 is a ripped piece of paper. It's page 110. The text is about something called the Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. Where's the book this is missing from? It's Alan Wake. Dog. The drawer just had an empty can of some off-brand energy drink. The drawer's full of tiny skulls! Probably... mice? Let's go with mice. The drawer's full of pens. The drawer's full of screws. Okay. Open the door. Open the door. Just biff it open, it's fine. Uh, that's a car. There's the doggo! There's the dog! Doggo! Parker, thank you for the vials. I swear these are the last I'll need. Do remember to change your bandages because I do not plan on taking you to the AR again. The work will be done soon. Rest assured, it is con convoluted as you fear. All right. The song Celestial. Mad lads put entire books in this game. Uh oh, here. Oh, hello. Um, inspect the device. The teal wire leads to the box with a little spotlight. I guess the power box in the living room powers this on? Yeah, you'd probably be correct. What? Oh, no. Oh, I hate these puzzles. Oh, shit. Oh, fart. It did it. It fucked! It did it! Uh, oh, what the hell? Yeah. Steel wire comes from the floor and yeah. This is the wire comes from the box. Yes. Yes, it is. Absolutely. What is this way? I'm hiding. Uh, door there. 
Oh, it's just a roundabout. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Open that door. It's a bathroom. The bar. I don't know what to question first. The machine on the wall or there's a fucking lawn chair in the, the, the bathtub. Um... The output pressure on this pump has to be set to 12 PSI at all times! Do not touch! Well, it's not 12 now, is it? Okay. Uh, cool. Examine the mess. Classy. That's all you got? Classy? Alright. Um, oh god, we have a lot. Yeah, that one's that one. The, one panel. Oh, I didn't even know it had... Okay, what? No, there's no way that correlates. My my brain is overthinking. Locker. Yeah. Page 110. The mine note. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Clock. Let me look at clock. Clock o'clock. It's frozen at 10.30. Doth that mean at 10.30, Mr. Boogity comes out? Why are you just standing up? That's a very open door. Open the door. Slam that bitch. Wham jam. Uh... Should I... Hold on, let me talk. To Greg! Gary! Whatever your name is. Gary. Hey, Emily! I'm so glad to see you! What just happened? What the fuck is happening? Good to see you too, Gary! I love that. That's good. How are you doing alright? Uh... Gary, something's up. I'm fine. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, Emily, I'm serious. You look pretty rattled. Long day? I'm serious, Gary. Something is wrong. I was already here. We already did this. Yeah, just stressed out from family stuff. I think I'm a little guilty for about leaving my mom's place. I'm glad I have finally made it here, though. This is gonna be a good night. Hell yeah! Just like the old times. Do you know anything about the book with a monster called The Watcher? Oh, we actually got that one through. The Watcher? Hmm, I remember hearing that somewhere. Crap, it rings a bell, but I can't quite remember. Maybe you could ask Francine. She's good with books and whatnot. Uh, I can't talk right now. Got to run. I think I'm on a sh very strict time limit. I think. I haven't figured out the rules of the game yet. Fra Francine! <gasps> She's no longer here! You wanna run that one by me again? Yeah, that one. That thing you just said to me. Uh, we got- we still haven't explored everything, though. Bazamba. Whoa. There's a lot. It's a power box. Here's on an un uninterruptible power supply. Because that means it's important. <laughs> yeah, typically. Uh, whoa. Post-it note. Post-it note. Post-it note. It's the keypad diagram. There's a sticky note. It's- all that on it is a number, written in thin, open block letters. Twelve. Okay. Flyer. Okay. It's a flyer for an electronic lock, maybe from the 80s. The illustration that, uh, have that gauzy airbrush look that they did then. It says it's an optional electro uh, electromechanical failsafe feature that lets it automatically deactivate on power loss. Yeah, accompanying the flyer is a handwritten note. Read the note. Clara, some, someone will be come by with the electronics company to do this installation. Have them set the passcode as a specific 
I specified on the form and lock up the schematic and combination in the cellar cage when done. Do not let them enter the attic. Thank you. Parker, why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? I can't tell if they're working to keep something out or keep something in, and why would they... Uh, why did they even want to go in the attic? I want to I want to see you leave the house again someday. Use computer. Fuck me. Well, I'm playing Minesweeper. Damn it. Damn it. I suck at Minesweeper. Um, pamphlet. Uh, is login. Okay. I'm, so I'm just scanning for clues at this point, because I, again, I think I'm on a very strict time limit. Uh, eulogy for the chosen few. Holy lightning strikes thrice. You have baptized in the great gunshot of it. Your halo of your skull makes against the night. There's little to do, but welcome it. That swallowing dark. Welcome what moves beneath your flesh. Greet the worms in your lungs. Here they are at home. Look at the distant star, that cold, coy wink, and rejoice, a new you is risen. Emerge from your skin, then. Discard the husk, you will not recognize the thing you used to be. From the dirt and from the skies, we have made you whole. From your hands falls a soft summer rain, from your eyes a cleansing fire. Cherish your rewards and look back upon the path you created to paradise, an altar, a chapel. That sacred place where you confess the things you thought you were better than. Gotcha. Look out the window. Be beautiful. Don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for something here specifically. Can hide, hide. I don't want to hide. Look into the ho Okay, so there's a... Why, oh, Francine? Francine, hey! Yeah, you know, what's up? Uh, do you know anything about the book on Monster? The Watcher? Interesting, I feel like it's right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, right, that's from In a Glass Darkly by Sheridan Le Fanu. It's got a bunch of creepy stories in it. In one of them, the hero is stalked by some sort of creature he calls the Watcher. There's also this fucked up bird that shows up. It's pretty great. Uh, do you ever have, uh, have a feeling of deja vu, Francine? Like, I have a feeling we've been here, in this room, before. In a nostalgia way, you mean? No, like, literal. Then, no. Are you doing okay, Em? I just remember being here, in this room, before. Before that thing showed up. No, I think I just need to sit down. Are you dehydrated? Is your blood sugar low? You can't really, uh, you really can't hear me when I talk about what happened, can you? I guess this is my imagination. Okay. What is this door? I can't open it! Okay. Wasn't there a door down here we didn't open? I feel like I'm running at the monster. Well, we're about half hour till I think I'm right. I think this clock is stuck at 1030 for a reason. Bong! Bong! In a glass darkly! I don't know. Uh... I feel like I'm gonna go on a wild goose chase trying to find this short story. Unless it's a real book. Power box isn't powered on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. That has a st sticky note on it. Weird. Uh, hey, open the door. Front door's locked. Cool. Examine the lock. Beep boop, boop boop boop. Doesn't have power. Well, shit. Shit fard. Start bashing it down, man. Or. 
twenty. It's it's empty. There's no way I totally forgot to pack. What the hell? Oh, okay. Uh, there's that the game console. Talk to Megan. Clifford. There's more sticky notes everywhere. Why can't I take up a fucking donut? Chick parm. Make my parm in progress. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Still. Cliff, you greedy, great bass. Everybody's gone. Where is everybody? Meg, Megan, you need to stay here. 10 30. Heavy feet. Okay. Fluid, yeah, everything, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Door doesn't work. Yeah, got it. Okay. I don't, I don't remember any of the fucking dates we were given. Oh. Uh, uh, no, up the stairs, please. Thank you. Oh, I hear you, Mr. Blady Bull. Jump at the window. Jump at the window. Clifford. Clifford. Hey, Cliff. Mm. Why is this? What is? What is this? Why is this happening? I can't believe this is really happening. I have no idea. This is intense. Uh. Oh no! Is that thing coming back? Something's coming. I don't know. Thanks. Are you hurt? Thanks. The fuck is that awful sound? I don't know. I don't know. I knew we couldn't trust this place. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, brah. No shit. There he goes. Uh. Yeah. Open a page about the old PC in the master bedroom. Apparently, it's got an auto exec set to launch Minesweeper as a demo mode, which is we're welcome to try as a curiosity. However, after use, we're asked to spray compressed air between the keys to ensure their longevity. Apparently, we're supposed to pack our own air compressed air. Yep. Okay. At this point, I'm just waiting for my death. What is... I hear that noise. I... Oh, FUD! Jesus Christ! Hey guys! Do you know what a meat shield is? Do you know... You guys know what a meat shield is? There he is! Oh, Jesus, Megan! Oh, but jabbles. Oh. Um, okay. I have to figure out everything down here. This feels like the big, the big bazinga, right? Interact. Fucking do it. Oh, that's the big one. I feel like I'm- yeah, no shit, I'm missing something. No shit- oh god, he's here! Fly for a spot, get away from me! Paint. There's- ah. Uh. Open the- open the locker! Kill me, you bastard! Okay. <laughs> Going swimmingly so far. Oh, what the hell? Our choice mattered? What?
I recognize you. Huh? You're the one with the sense of being better than things you're better than. What? I understand where you come from. I've been there. You're the one with the sense of being better than the things you're better than. I am there. What? Can I help you? No, I'm trying very hard to leave there. If you're anything like me, you're probably expecting a reward, but wouldn't only get you in deeper. Are you trying to find a way to keep your elbows clean? I'm there with you. I see your left arm raise. I'm curious about the state of your right eye. I'm just trying to gas up my car, dude. I'm gonna get going now. Who do you show your ticket to? Are you going to the train station? The rubble aside the train station? Are you going to beneath the train station? Have a good night. Okie dokie then. Yeah, because we told them, oh, we, we had gas trouble. We had to stop and get gas. Uh, what? Okay, hold on. Suitcase. No, damn it. I keep hitting the wrong ones. Four. Twenty. Ain't nothing in here. My suitcase, it's empty. The hell is wrong with me? That's a good question. Okay. Open the door. Oh. Wh hold on. Hold. Hold. Making that fucking palm, bro. Open the door. Okay, this door. Gary, you good? Dare bear? Jesus Christ. Uh, and glass. That's a big ass book, man. Like, it. Demon King's it. Okay, so what? So things change constantly, then. Okay. We can't get downstairs for this run, which is very weird. That's very, that's very weird to me. That, unless, that only opens after a certain amount of time. Right? So I don't think we've ever, ever really come this way. Early on, that's, what the hell? That's a button I pressed. Um. Yeah, we clearly don't have enough clues. Right? Third post-it. Got it. We're in. My suitcase combination. Got it. Page 110. I guess that's just us asking around. What? Why is the, Why are these two connected? Hold on. So, page 110, and then the decimal is 12. Okay. Mine note. Wait a minute. Mine sweeper? I suck at mine sweeper, but I'm going to play mine sweeper. Don't anyone interrupt me. I don't remember where mine sweeper was. Huzzah. These are all windows. Not in here, because that's a roundabout. In here? God dang right. Okay. Bazinga. Oh, shit. I win! Fuck yeah! I did it! What did I do? Minesweeper. I... All right, cool. I I won. Am I supposed to be taking something away from that? I don't know if I am. I mean, I I won. Is that the code? I need to get into the basement. I got to test something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold. hold. Fucking hold. Because there's got to be a, a reason this is connected to the desk note. 
the mine on there, I'm assuming it's this pattern in some way, shape, or form. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I gotta get into the basement, though. You son of a bitch. Open your fucking basement, you bastard. Whose who's feet are that loud? God damn. Uh, okay. So I th think I'm on to something. I just need a keypad. Keypad to downstairs. It's three. Nope. All right. Shit. I'm out of ideas. Uh, shit. Too smart for me. Game's too smart. Too smart! Although there was that other thing in this hallway. No, damn it. This way. Damn. God, tank controls. Hello, Francis. Francine. Then again, I already did this? Kind of just, what is that noise? Can't open that door. Uh, yeah, power supply. And there's like a fucking jug of cola near it. Uh, there's, oh man. That uh, Bazinga 915. All right. I wonder if that opens the basement. Like, the lightning has to strike, power has to go out, yeah, I move Gary. I'm on a mission from God. You don't understand, man. Okay, check the machine. Uh... I'm try I'm try I don't know what I'm supposed to be matching up. Right? This fucking Zynga. A genius. On. Okay, is that pa- uh. That power's s something. That power's a thing. Blue, maybe? Blue- Blue is maybe powered? Mayhaps? Fucking Gary! God damn it, Gary. You guys are so polite closing doors. Yeah? Inspect that goddamn device. Get wild leaves. Yeah, I know. I guess. The yeah. Nope. Well, shit. Out of ideas. Get wire goes downstairs. I turned it on. There's that. Oh, it opened it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, positive to positive. Oh, am I playing Among Us? Negative has to go to negative. Positive to positive, yes. No, that's bad. Don't do that. Okay, what the hell? Okay, that goes like that. I'm going cross-eyed. I'm going cross-eyed. What the fuck am I looking at? Puzzles. Puzzles, man. Puzzles. Pos it's gotta be positive and positive. 
I'm glad it's saving. What happened here? Yes, I, I bazing it. Don't worry. I understand. What I don't understand is this man made a fucking puzzle out of his own junction box. The fuck? What the fuck? Did I do it? <laughs> Did I- is it- is it good, Dad? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I was- I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, guys, you can fucking help here. Be like, hey. Fine, you can, like, look. Well, you're fucking end me, you bitch. Oh man, all right. We got a big puzzle out of the way. What is happening here? Whoa, who are you? Oh, you haven't shown up, yeah. Hey, Emily. Pete? I know that look on your face. You've been try tying yourself in knots, running this night through your head over and over again, trying to think of a way out. You see the house? With its door locked and power out, some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods, with my throat slit. Am I right about that last part? I... Don't know. Maybe you've got something to do with this. Who's to say? Good thing the cellar opens on its own, huh? I know you're technically not supposed to go down there. But you're technically not supposed to get murdered, either. The note in the main bedroom made it seem like the combination is down in the cellar somewhere. In some kind of cage. Could that be the cage with the colored bar lock on its door? The colored bar lock on its door. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon. Pete, you are a... Mystery wrapped in a wizard. One, run, one more run before we end this uh, video. I feel like I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting things. I'm understanding. But then again, I can't... I can't do anything. Everything carries over. So I know the code to the cellar. Colored bar. Something with that locker. Uh, did we... Did we pack anything? Did we forget to pack? Aw, oh, shit. Shit and forward. My suitcase. Does this have anything to do with some, whatever fucked up thing is going? Yes, absol absolutely. Absolutely. The note upstairs. No, fuck, man. Go, damn. Damn. Okay. This also ha always has to be 12. Okay, hold on. Oh, see, that's not good. Don't do that one. So you go by fives. Okay. This goes by weird. Weird. <laughs> Fucking Bazinga. I'm the genius! I broke everything in this building. What was that new one? This one? Yeah. Inspect the crawl space. 
Lich brand static pressure pump operation basics. Every Lich brand static pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders, pressure PSI, output by one unit, uh, one per unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders, reinforced with a bulkier housing, increase PSI output by five units per unit. Input fluid amount in displayed on the left, output on the right. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. I'll say, just to play it off like I know what I'm doing now. That one's like that. There's one in here? Yeah. This has 35 left. Yeah, okay. That's the main one. Do we have to get that to zero? I'm unclear. Unclear. I gotta wait to, for the door to open? You guys got fucking, like, cylinders in here or some shit? I'm trying to figure out what else I can do. The door opens by itself. Wish it opened sooner. But 915 has to happen. That way that works. Um... Dracula, manuscript, this thing, Frankenstein. The weird shit in the drawers. Which I don't know if what's in those drawers correlates to, like, the codes. Right? Uh, thank you, thank you, vials. Something with the vials. Something with the vials. Something with the vials. Also, she made note of, like, the dirt being weird. Like, oh, some mysteries. But not, uh... Oh. The computer has been smashed, seemingly deliberately. How could this happen to me? Good question. Look at the wall. There's gonna be somebody behind there one of these times when I look in it. Just to spook me. Uh... Okay, almost time to go down to the basement. Move, Francine! Francine, move! God! Tank controls! Oh my god, static cameras. It is, it is a, certainly a throwback. Francine, I'm gonna push you down the stairs. Be a lot pain, more or less painful. I'm waiting for you, you bastard. Also, time freeze when you're in this, so that's good. Uh, yeah, okay. Come on. Come in. There we go. Uh, there's something up with that locker. Something up, up with... Friggin' everything. Power box, yay. This. I don't know what is up with it. Yeah, I'm, I am, I'm absolutely missing a piece of the puzzle. Just because I don't know what that's supposed to be set to. What the hell? I don't know what I'm trying to flip it to. Oh, weird. No idea. No fucking clue. No fucking clue. A lot of stuff about 1979. Let's just say that. A lot of stuff about 1979. What? I'm sorry? Tunnel? There's a tunnel near the floor that, when I look into the darkness, seems to stretch on to infinity. Just looks, uh, looking at it makes me uh, want to hyperventilate. 
I don't want much want to know what's on the other end, but metal bars stop me from finding out. Does that summon him? I don't know what that does. Uh, we're down to 18. Blue in this tank is the source of all the pumps in the house. When improperly calibrated, pump pressured over above this tank will automatically drain with gravity. Cool. Ah, I'm stuck on stairs. And Band-Aid brand. Okay, y'all are still alive. Okay. But that doesn't change anything, that does it. That doesn't change anything, that does it. I am so confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing with this puzzle. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I'm what? What? What am I doing? Plus to plus. Positive to positive. Yes. Yes and or no. I'm just fi I'm just fiddling with stuff at this point. Is that not it? Did I not do it? What? Or am I just not understanding? I don't think I'm understanding this. I do not know what I'm doing. I do not know what I'm doing. Nothing happened in this run. Oh, Jesus. That's what I just shat myself. Okay. Sir, do you know the passcode here? Sir. Sir. Sir, can I interest you in some, some fucking egg, eggy parm? Guys, close the door. He's right there. Guys, run. Guys, your self-preservation instincts suck. Oh my god. Down here I go. Because I gotta be a certain feet away. What is that? God. I don't- I'm so confused. Page 110 correlates with the desk note of a 12. Look, I don't understand. Homeboy Pete gave us a... Gave us a hint, seemingly. Well, there- oh, don't fucking strike the air. What are you doing? Oh no, she's dead. 
Oh no, they're dead. Also this, this machine. I did it, you fucker. I solved your puzzle, but I didn't do it. Uh, hey, did you know there's a teal wire to the box spotlight? Power on down, don't stamp the air, what are you doing? You won't find me in here. Oh, he found me. Oh, he broke the door. Damn, dude. What? Oh. I hope getting out here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Emily, for real, the drive was fine. It would be like nothing for miles except trees and then every, uh, once every hour we'd see a cow or something. At one point we stopped at one of those roadside boiled peanut stands and we saw a guy ladle some of the hot nut water into his mouth so we left without getting any. It sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny. I should tell a trusted adult right away. Did a joke just go over my head? I feel like this is one of those Emily Francineisms, and no one, uh, none of us speak that language. Wait, you guys don't know this story? So, like, you guys remember when the local arts council held that mini con in the spring? I got a booth and was crunching like crazy to turn out little paintings and zines, while also doing homework poorly. And because I'm a good friend, I offered to help uh, set things up to make her life easier. That, and I wanted an excuse to hang out when people watch. Emily sends me uh, to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed and very glossy, nice auto bio zines. Get them, uh, get them, get back to the con, just in time for the show to get going. I was excited to see how the books came out because I was nervous uh, about full bleeds and whatnot. And when I opened the box, it's not my zines. It was instead fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets, like the kind you get in Dare or one's assholes leave uh, instead of tips. They were chick tracked adjacent. Oh my god, chick tracked. And people were already in the hall browsing. I'm panicking because the print job was expensive. I was hoping to make my money back. And now I have a box of the shit people try to hand you at the grocery store. And the booth next to us saw the whole thing and I wonder, uh, wanted to read them. Now I'm standing there feeling like the biggest idiot on the pla uh, planet Earth for ruining my friend's show. Then Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says one dollar, and those things start selling like hotcakes. Turns out, disaffected stoners really love Dare e uh, Ephemera. Those pamphlets sold better than anything I've tried to sell since. I've still got some, somewhere. Ever since, little snippets of those pamphlets will just randomly pop in my head. Uh... Radon might be right... what the hell? Rat, radon might be right behind you. Yeah, those planets make obscure uh, safety concerns feel like the living entity is coming to kill you. I remember feeling like I had to lock my doors to keep out Legionnaire's disease. Francine, you made the best mistakes possible. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me, and me unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees let me have some, uh, have some of the burnt up donuts that got stuck in the production line having uh, an inex inexplicable heart uh, panic attack in the parking lot. No one needs to see that. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. They really took uh, took those old brochures literally, huh? What do you mean? Radon might be right behind you? Sounds like something you would, you would say. You're always warning me about obscure shit I've never heard of. You know what? I just I need to go find my binoculars. I'll be right back. Punch Cliff right in the balls. Oh, rump. Thanks. Cliff. It's messed up that you don't, uh, that they don't just let you have donuts. I mean, they're just gonna go in the trash anyway. Right on, but whoa. Em, you doing okay in here? Yeah, I just need a second. You said that, yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I would bring these binoculars along for the trip, so I've been looking for them, and I don't think they're here, so I, well, I'm... Curled up in a ball, trying not to hyperventilate. 
Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen you this on in a while. I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do. And I think I can only do that because Francine's wingmanning me. It's embarrassing. When we met, I was all Captain Cool, helping Francine help keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then, in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. Do they like me, or do they just like whoever that was? Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. Look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis for so long. You're fine. You're safe. They missed you. Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find those binoculars. Come on, I'm making tea. Hope it's chai. What, did, the, did you need a pair of binoculars to find a pair of binoculars? Get your feet off the table. Jesus! What are you, my mom? I just don't want you ruining my table. I eat on that. Dick. Cliff. We need to talk about that binocular joke. I'm disappointed in you. Gary, you're my favorite. Buttons. Em, it's okay. Laura turned it off. I know. You're really worried about this, huh? Like, you're worried about me ruining your table. Cliff! Cool it! I'm just messing around. You guys' apartment is so cute. This seems like a really nice area. Thanks. Yeah, we got super lucky. Lots of cool little shops nearby and a good variety of overpriced cafes. Will we even be able to see the shower out here? With all the light pollution? Come on, it's not bad if you go, like, a mile out of town. Anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition for the pair sides. Hot nut water guy got me thinking. That's not a great sentence to just spew out randomly. That the hot nut water would probably be pretty good? I don't know about that one, Chief. Super umami, yeah. I don't know about that one, Chief. Obviously, but hot nut water guy has got me th also got me thinking. I feel like the, like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept that things in a new place are going to be uncertain and weird instead of trying to control every last detail. Just go with the flow. Like that time we were out in the mountains and decided to follow the signs of a family fun center. Ended up in a burned down old ghost town with no sign of escape? Totally. The creaking of the distant rocking chair, unreadable old billboards bleached white by the sun. Tetanus on every surface. Gotta love that a percolating sense of unknowable danger. Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. What are we gonna get for dinner? I go for some za. I think we can do better than za. Emily, you live here. Where should we get some food? Uh. Uh, this crew seems like a diner type of thing. There's a dinky little diner with one of those rotating pie cases. Sure. Yeah, let's just get a pizza. In that case, we better get going if we're gonna get to the Domino's before they close. There's an Italian restaurant around the corner, though, apparently. Crud, okay, let me just do the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Emily, seriously, are you still worried about your knobs? Phrasing. It's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming in from the airport down the road. The city shut off the gas and nobody was uh, around to turn the pilot light back on. No pilots for the pilot light. They had one job! I'm taking heat for the binocular joke, and you get away with that one? Right? Anyway, with the pilot light off, the room just slowly smelled, swelled with gas. By the time the landlord finally came off and shut the valve off, the apartment was so filled with gas that the windows were bowed out of the pressure. Sure, but that has to be rare. Rare? But it happens. And gas is invisible, so... I worry about that too. The thing that bothers me is like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs just get like, all burned up from the insides? Wouldn't the gas need oxygen to ignite? 
What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I think we should stop talking about this. Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magic murder monster coming to kill you. You turn the knob and it's off. That's it. Pete, help me out here. I'm here. Pete, you good? Pete, are you okay? Exactly. Thank you. That's just what I'm talking about. Look, let me put this rest for you, Emily. See? And did we all die in a blazing inferno? No. So you can relax now. Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. Yep. those noises also didn't expect that entire scene to happen okay we we're here let's pause return tile screen cuz that was a lot and also like a 20 minute cutscene okay uh so next we'll tr I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't know. We were on to some stuff, and then other stuff were just like, uh... We have to get down to the basement. I I wonder if there is a way to open the basement beforehand, right before 9.15, the lights go out, the power goes out, and then it opens. I wonder if there's a way to get down to the basement before that, then we could open the, the electric box, turn it on, open the one upstairs, and then try to figure that figure out that puzzle. That's a goal. There's a lot of key codes, passwords, this type of stuff to find. So we'll, we'll figure it all out next. We'll figure it all out. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of confidence in me. We'll try to figure it out next time. But for now, well, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, super kick that like button. Check out my channel for more videos I've done. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.